so this comes with Windows 10 Home. What the luck? Come on, let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code. Woof, it's Windows Pro time. Righto, tell you the champs. Now the Dell XPS 13 2 1 is a thin, light, premium, and I mean premium, ultra portable or two in one laptop. And let me give you the tip my dream of the ultra portable sort of device that can do everything video edit, game, great battery life, great for productivity, but most of all, the portability is here. It's just about here, I think. This is my gaming review. Stay tuned for my content creation review. This XPS 13 2 1 does come with the 10th generation Ice Lake i7 1065G7. Wow, how am I going to remember all this? But basically, when it comes to Ice Lake and Comet Lake, and this is a 15 watt part, configurable to 25 watts, and Dell do give you pretty much the 25 watts with this thermals permitting which they do most of the time if you want to know just looking at the product numbers they all start with 10 if you're talking about comet lake versus ice lake but if it has a g it is an ice lake if it has a u or y it is a comet lake now the big difference between comet lake and ice lake is ice lake is 10 nanometer and it has the iris plus graphics built-in thunderbolt 3 built-in wi-fi 6 whereas comet lake is your traditional sort of ultrabook 15 watt part well it can be all sort of different wattages it's your more traditional part with the intel hd graphics thunderbolt is not built in neither is wi-fi 6 you need to have those discreetly if you want those and it is 14 nanometer if i didn't mention it now when it comes to the xps 13 2 and 1 if you want the best graphics you need to get the i7 with the XPS 13 because at the time of recording this with the SKUs of the XPS 13 2 and 1 only the i7 has the Iris Plus graphics now all the i7s have Iris Plus graphics but there is an i3 and an i5 with Intel HD graphics and you can only get the Iris Plus graphics if you get the i7 so make sure you get the i7 if you want the graphics the good graphics and it does make a difference for gaming and not only that content creation it does make a difference also this thing here has awesome sound and it has a 16x10 display. Now I tested all these games at 1080p because I was capturing it into my capture card. But because it does have a 16x10 display, you're most likely going to be playing at 1050 resolution, 1050p, not 1080 because of the aspect ratios around, unless you sort of stretch it or crop sort of things. So I'll tell you if I'm playing 720p or 1080, but remember if you're playing on the actual screen here, you'll probably be playing at 1050p. Now it does have 16 gigs RAM as well, and it does have the low power DDR4 and super fast, like it's like 3800 megahertz or something like so that helps the graphics out now this ain't my normal gaming review where i'll give you frames for a second and stuff like that i will actually do that comparing ice lake to comet lake for gaming and also compared to an mx250 i will be doing a video about that so stay tuned for that the long and short of it is you know games like fortnite counter-strike and stuff like that you'll be able to play 1080p medium low settings and sort of get around that 50 60 frames per second more demanding titles you have to knock it down to 720p so i'm talking about you know the harder AAA titles like you know witcher gta 5 stuff like that you will have to knock that down to 720p lowish settings and less demanding games you will be able to play at 1080p so check out the gameplay make sure you stay tuned for my full review and the content creation review let's go okay, so i'm only playing gta 5 at you know 50 plus frames per second um yeah 720 yes on normal settings but still this is gta 5 triple a material here you can play it on your 10th generation with the iris plus graphics Intel 10th generation Ice Lake CPUs. Look, 70 frames. 70. I oh, know it's 720, but it still looks fine. Of course, this isn't a gaming laptop. But still, you get to play your games, your casual games, and we're talking AAA titles here now. So, you know, it's very playable. It's not the ultimate gaming experience, but to think that on this 13 inch, 2 in 1, okay? So this tiny, you know, light, thin and light, 13 inch Dell XPS 13 2 in 1, which is super thin. You've got to see how thin this thing is. I am gaming GTA 5, yes. And yes, I'm getting still the same experience. I mean, 
<laughs> you know what it's like? You know what it reminds me of? Um, going from a PC to a console. You know, this is what it looks like on the console half the time, you know what I mean? I mean, yeah, all right, the consoles do have better graphics these days, but, um, yeah, it's certainly playable. And the temperature is getting up here into the 90s, 80s with this XPS 13. But this ice lake is no joke. It's very playable. It's not choppy. You know, you get, look, look, even look at the frame times. There's nothing, you know, there's no big spikes there. Seems pretty linear. <clears throat> Sorry, I have caught a bug, so I've got a bit of frog in my throat. Ooh. Yeah. Got to say, Ice Lake, baby. Ice, Ice, baby. XPS 13. I cannot believe it's in XPS 13 2 and 1 I'm doing this. this. You know, if it was a full-on 13-inch, it was a little bit thicker, you know, like XPS 13. But this is, like, super thin and light. So, um, yeah, GTA 5, AAA gaming. I wonder how it goes with Witcher. Let's find out. All right, do not try this at home. You should be locked up if you're going to try and play Witcher on an Ultrabook with integrated graphics. Well, have a look at this. 720p, yes, low settings. Witcher, we're talking about. Witcher, which is a AAA title, of course, and a very demanding one. And, yeah, have a look at that. Nearly 50 FPS. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I can tell you now, the other integrated graphics of the, um, what's it called, the the Intel HD graphics that you get on Comet Lake or any of the other 13-inch, 15-watt uh, U parts, yeah, forget about it. Don't even try and play Witcher. Uh, you're dreaming. Yeah. It's like really bad if you do try and play it. I mean, it actually can work, but this is just amazing. I mean, you can see frame dips every now and then. You can see the spikes there. That's the frame times where, you know, when it's drawing a frame, you know, sometimes it just, yeah, takes a bit longer to draw a frame here and there, but um, integrated graphics, look, it's playable. I'm at the airport. I want to play some Witcher or something, you know, any AAA title. It's not my main uh, gaming PC, you see, yeah, had a little bit of a slowdown there. That's more to do with probably the temperature uh, rather than, uh, maybe it wasn't. I can't see the boost clock of the actual CPU. It just doesn't let show it to me because this is Ice Lake, a new CPU. It's not going to, it just doesn't show it in um, what's it called, Afterburner. So, um, yeah, I'll try and get a beta version, maybe it, you know logs the or actually shows me the telemetry of the um footage and yeah still i it it's outstanding like ultrabook super thin and light ultrabook i'm playing witcher witcher yeah all right 720 as i said but come on witcher and <laughs> it's playable <laughs> oh it's you know it's good enough for me like if i'm on the road and I've actually said the video rendering times are very surprising too. So, yeah, I wouldn't want this for my main gaming PC or, you know, whatever. But, you know, in a pinch, you're going to get the job done. you get some gaming done. You know, if you're playing some game, whatever it is, even a AAA title and you've got your cloud save and you just want to, you know, you're on the road and you still want to play it. Yeah, you can do it. It's, you can do it. I, yeah, it's just speechless. Um, this is really good. And if this actually improves over time, even better. So All right, so we are now playing at 720p with all the stuff turned off. And basically, um, look at that. <laughs> 100, over 130 frames per second. And to be perfectly frank, all right, the analyze, the anti-aliasing is not, um, you know, great there's a bit of jaggies there but come on 130 150 frames per second 720p ah oh, man you can game with this um see if i can shoot him with a trackpad oh let's do it um yeah so they weren't lying when they said you could get 120 frames at a um, um 720 
at 720p with you know low settings you can see there it's easily doing that so um i think to get 60 frames per second 1080p low settings you'll get your 60 fps so. all right teddy teddy uh, america has two famous teddies teddy bundy and teddy roosevelt there you go god damn right now um let's see how this performs in uh, civilization because this is what this is made for right these are graphics on this this is i love having ultra books and playing these sort of games football manager civilization i mean this is where they excel and this is 1080p low settings you can see there we're getting 40 fps um yes yeah, not too bad for 1080p, I thought um, you might have to go down to 720, but 1080p, 30, anything 30 frames per second for something like this is perfectly fine. And we're getting up to 40 now because it's not a game where it needs to be 60 FPS. I mean, obviously it's better if it is 60 FPS and just heat 60 FPS just then because, you know, it's just smoother, but it's not necessary for something like this. Um, it's perfectly fine at this 40 sort of FPS there. So this is what it's made for, and the fan doesn't really kick in that much with this game either. So uh, football manager, your casual games, those sort of things are going to kill it. All right, so we are now playing at 1080p medium settings, all right? So we're getting 40, 50 frames per second. Let's see there. You can see the frame times there dipping in and out. So the 1% lows wouldn't be the best there. You can see, you know, we'll dip down every now and then, but a solid 50-ish frames per second at 1080p. This is 1080p. This is integrated graphics, 50 frames per second at 1080p medium. So, yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, Fortnite isn't that hard on the system. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing here. Fortnite isn't that... There you go. We got up to 60 Let's put it down to low settings, all right? So this is very playable at this sort of 40, 50 frames per second. You know, medium settings, 1080p. That's playable. That's certainly not too bad. Um, but you can see the frame dips. You can see on the frame times every now and then. So that, that's the 1% lows. I mean, it's not a gaming laptop, but the thing is, you know, if you want a game, you can still game and get an enjoyable experience, right? We're still getting, you know, 40-ish frames per second, nearly 50 frames per second. Let's put it on low settings, see if some of those frame dips go. And this is like a fairly hard game, I would say, compared to some of, you know, there are like Counter-Strike, which is would be fairly easy on the system. This is a little bit harder to play than like Counter-Strike. And there you go. We, we hit the frame cap there of 60 frames per second which is basically the screen cap there, and it's sitting at that 50. I'll bring up, see if I can bring up the 1% lows again. Now you can see 51 drop down to 20. Yeah, you can still see some frame dips there in the frame times. You know, the 1% lows, it's not a gaming laptop, but you can see here 60 frames per second I'm getting. 60, a constant 60. So you'll probably be getting more than 60. This is 1080p low settings. Uh, yeah, so I can't wait to test this out on other games. <laughs>